hierarchies are used to represent data in a neat format or like in a tree structure format where you define different levels so that users can easily analyze their data with the help of hierarchies users will have a drill down functionality where they can go from one level to another level and can easily analyze their data in a quick manner so basically in hana we can create different two types of hierarchies one is a level hierarchy other one is a parent child hierarchy so the ideal example for a level hierarchy is going to be our time information so where we have year and then quarter and then month and then you know week then it goes to date so if we go to parent child hierarchy the ideal example to represent parent child hierarchy is going to be employee hierarchy where employee a manager can be reporting to another employee who is going to be manager of the employee a's manager so now let's go ahead and see how to create a level hierarchy in hana so let's get into our hana system and one of the attribute view we have is our customer data so if we look at our customer data by going to data preview we can see we have geographical information for customers like customer country and then what's the state and then what's the city now let's say how to create hierarchy on customer geographical information so that a business can quickly analyze their sales amount by country and then immediately by state and then by city so to create hierarchies in hana we can create at attribute view level or at calculation view level we cannot create any hierarchies in analytic view so to create a new hierarchy in let's say attribute view we need to go to semantics and then we have a new tab for hierarchies a different tab for hierarchies so here to create a new hierarchy click on this plus symbol here and then we are going to define name for hierarchy so we'll name it as h a e r which specifies it as an hierarchy and then cast geo we can choose what type of hierarchy we are going to create so now it's going to be level hierarchy and then node style so this node style says what information uh, how we want to display the value of node in the reports so if we select a level name it says what is the level of that hierarchy and then the uh, actual data element if we take only name only then it displays only name or if we take path it displays entire path like if you are at month level it displays what is the year dot quarter dot month so that's the difference between three different node styles so here we are going to select a name only and then to add a new levels here we can just click on that add or we have add option here so our first level is going to be country and then second level is going to be state then third level is going to be our city so here we have selected office state which this should be cast okay so this the third level should, should be customer city and then the second level is going to be our customer state so we have customer country customer state customer city so these the levels we want and the other options we have here is we can choose the order by okay and then the sorting like when you have a values in for customer country column how we want to sort those values whether based on ascending order or descending order
we have those two options and we can select whichever one we want the next options we have are under advanced section so here we can the first option we have is aggregate all nodes so this should be a true unless if we have aggregations for at each if we have aggregation uh, summation of our measures at each level then we can make this as false otherwise it should be true the recommended is most of the times we won't be having aggregations available at database level so we'll keep this as true so that whatever the level we choose it's going to aggregate and show the summation of values and then we can define what is the default member if we have any or what is the default level we need to take that we can be defined here and then the other one is r for nodes if we have any node that doesn't have a parent then we need to choose how it needs to arrange in the hierarchy does it needs to be attached to another root node or does it need to be ignored or does it has to give error or do we need uh, system has to define that as a different node this is mostly required in uh, parent child hierarchy okay and then a root node visibility this we can leave it as add root node and then if we have multiple parents then we can select we can check this box right now we can leave that and then click on ok now we can see we have hierarchy available here let's go ahead and activate this we see it's completed successfully now we are using this attribute view in one of our analytic view which is a in order sales so if we go here by default the hierarchy we have created in products should be available here the reason is we are using the products attribute view in this analytic view so at analytic view level we cannot create any new hierarchies however if we are using any if the attribute views we are using in that analytic view has any hierarchies then those hierarchies will be passed to analytic view however if you are let's say creating a calculation view and we have used the same attribute view it the hierarchies doesn't get a pass through to a calculation view we have to manually create hierarchies in calculation view that's the difference between analytic view and, and calculation view in terms of hierarchies so now we can see that hierarchy is available here we can just redeploy just reactivating the object to make sure you know hierarchies are incorporated for this analytic view now once we create hierarchies how can we access these hierarchies using reporting tools so the only reporting tools that can access these hierarchies are the ones can connect to hana using mdx connection so the only reporting tool that can connect to hana using mdx connection is ms excel so now let's go ahead and see how can we access these hierarchies using ms excel so let's open ms excel and then let's close this unnecessary ones so to ax to connect to hana system we need to go to data tab here and then from other sources we need to select from data connection wizard and then choose others and advanced click next here we we should be having hana sap hana mdx provider this will only be this will only available once we install sap hana clients in our local system now click on next where this is where we'll be giving our system credentials let's enter our system credentials then we can also define what is the connection language test connection we can see we were able to connect to hana successfully now here we'll have list of our packages let's search for our package so 
next is where we have our package and we can see our analytic view here click on next then click on finish select the first cell then click on ok we need to enter password once again and we can see all the objects available here and we can also see customer hierarchy so drag and drop that customer hierarchy here so this says multiple parents are not allowed which means we need to select that multiple parents here because we haven't selected here multiple parents so let's open this go to advanced choose multiple parents activate this so this is active now let's drag and drop once again so now we don't have that error because when we say multiple parents this is going to be our our customer country is our top level and we can have multiple values like Australia, Canada, Japan, UK, US. These are all multiple parents which, why? because this is our highest level. So now we need to select what is the measure that we want to analyze. So where do we have our measures? We have measures here. So let's take our quantity ordered. Now we can see everything is aggregated here. Let's say I want to see uh, what is the quantity ordered at different states in one particular country let's say in USA so if we drill down that we can see for each state here and if you want to go to different st cities we can see for each city what is the quantity ordered so this is how we can easily analyze the data with the help of hierarchies whereas if we don't have hierarchies in place we need to add customer country column and then customer state column customer city column and then it's going to be quantity ordered where there won't be any aggregated values so we need to see you and then manually calculate the aggregations so this is the advantage of hierarchies having built at database level so that we can easily analyze any measures in you know very quick time so this is about how to create hierarchies in HANA especially level hierarchies and how to use them using a reporting tools thank you for watching have a good day and happy learning